Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining Trade Wars of Wisdom with Prayer. Today, I'd like to share with you this book, a new book, An Unshakable Mind. How to Overcome Life's Difficulties. We happy science, of course, we are seeking the laws of happiness, how we can become happy, happier, and happiest. But living, living in this world, we feel unhappiness sometimes. When, in which situation, we are unhappy, a moment of unhappiness, of course, we might have shakable mind, wavering mind, or um, peace, okay? Not peaceful mind. So this is very important to have an unshakable mind in any situations. And this book, Master Ryu Hokawa, teaches us how to make how to build up our an unshakable mind with five chapters. Let me share with you preface. This book, An Unshakable Mind, teaches a method to build a great character that is founded upon a spiritual worldview. An unshakable mind cannot be acquired overnight. You first need to construct a solid base, like the part of an iceberg that remains hidden under water. For this reason, I have devoted the whole second chapter of this book to explaining what I call the principle of accumulation. In chapter 3, Confronting Distress in Life, I talked about the manifestations of an unshakable mind. In chapter 4, Various Types of Evil Spirits. The chapter 5, Confronting Evil Spirits. I have analyzed the causes of suffering and written concrete ways of overcoming them. I hope and pray that this book will provide light in the darkness to guide those who are seeking and living in accordance with Buddha's truth. Interesting. Okay. So this book, as Master mentioned, chapter one, the iceberg of life. What is iceberg? Second, the principle of accumulation the principle of accumulation. Third, confronting distress in life. And four, very interesting, various types of evil spirits. And five, confronting evil spirits. And six, an unshakable mind. So this book, Master taught us not only how to. Master explained first and second, very pragmatic ways, and then spiritual way. And chapter 6, from the viewpoint of enlightenment. So these Kyoten books have strong, strong power to support you to complete, to build an unshakable mind and help you to overcome life's difficulties. Let me share uh, one part uh, of chapter one, okay? Um, must I say like this? Darling, the causes of our lives, we have to make decisions and take action on many, di many different issues. In order to do that, we need information, motivation, and basic skill on which we base our decision and action. People cannot make decision or take action without having accumulated these things like this okay every day we suffer because we don't know how to make decision or which way we should go which direction okay so must I mention to know knowledge and accumulate these things is very important this is the uh, meaning of iceberg and last chapter must I mention like this this is very essential part of this book. An unshakable mind must be founded upon your love for Buddha, love for God, okay? Unshakable mind related with love for God, Lord. 
You must feel love for Buddha, God, and believe that you are one with the creator of the great universe. You need to be aware, aware that you have the same nature as laws and energy that govern the great universe, that you are part of the energy of this great universe. This is what you are, and currently, this energy has its own unique character and is undergoing spiritual training in this world. You are a fragment of Buddha. You are a fragment of God. An unshakable mind is a mind that comes from being a part of God. It is a mind to live in this world and to bring light into it on behalf of God. So always we share with you the faith is very important. What is faith? Faith is to know that we are child of God. We are a part of God. We are being who loves God. And we are living here to manifest the will of God in this, on this earth. When we can deepen this truth, we can have a strong, stronger, strongest and unshakable mind. So I hope you to get this book through reading and to know, to understand more about this truth which I shared with you. This helps you a lot. Be happy, happier, happiest with the Kyoren of Master Yuhokawa, an unshakable mind. This is today's my message. So, uh, now let us recite happy science prayers together. The true words spoken by Buddha. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appeared the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly. Because of gathering of bodhisattvas, this is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of soul, rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirit. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of life. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If we were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pan in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here listen to me. Never lose your way 
now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite some people to Buddha land. Now, here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be e the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world. Utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of Bodhisattva. Believe in that, the light has reality. Believe in that, love has reality. Believe in that, the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of Bodhisattva, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we bow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this planet to love Earth. Protect us from all evil and open the future for us. O Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and a shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. So thank you for joining. Let's build up our un unshakable mind and be happier and happier. Thank you so much. <laughs>